I'm gonna head to school because I'm gonna head to school because um, we have Nami really soon. So I'll see. Right can you eat? Vegetables take up more stomach to like not take up more stomach, but requires more digestion. Yesterday was our first day of this module. I am at school with my friend and we're preparing for our first case discussion. And the case is obviously narrated. I actually want to engage even more during our discussion sessions because I find answering questions a great way to study and it helped me for my last exam. So I want to engage more during these discussions. to make it yourself. I got kicked out of the study room because I didn't book the room, but I was taking a productivity learning path with Ali Abdal as students. We're always trying to find new ways to learn new skills or improve our productivity. So I've been taking a few classes on Skillshare. I am currently finishing the learning path, Master Your Productivity with Ali Abdal. It's four classes taken in order, all about what you need to know on evidence-based approach to creating a custom productivity workflow. If you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is one of the largest online learning community with classes led by industry pros. There are many learning paths available across film, illustration, design, painting, crafting, music, and so much more. If you want to take the same productivity learning path that I did, or if you want to learn any new skills and have no idea where to start, join Skillshare. It's never too late to invest in yourself and your goals. The first 500 people to use the link in my description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. But the myth of time. Really recommend Skillshare, especially the Ali Abdul videos. I'm personally one of his subscribers and I definitely recommend the productivity aspect. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up this video that I am currently watching and we're gonna get studying and apply our productivity tips. And we all know this to be true intuitively. Like I always start studying and a new semester or module by making a lecture list or some way to document my studies. I usually use a chart with all the dates labeled on the left. We have so many lectures, so it's easier to keep track when the module just started and just draw down each lecture as you have them. These are my notes. Oh my god, actually two pages. These are the notes I did for embryology, so I'm just gonna continue on this. Uh, I'm watching this video to help me understand it. And literally after two after ten minutes, I only did two minutes of the video, which is just insane. But we will continue working on it and We'll get it done. I am starting with one of the hardest lectures for me, which is cardioembryology. I am watching a video to help me understand the content. It was actually really hard to find resources for this lecture because each website go into it differently and some more in depth and others less. The fact that our professor drew the diagrams himself, I didn't even know if the resources I found were the right ones. Ninja Nerd is one of the best YouTube channels for medical videos, so you can always trust Ninja Nerd. He goes pretty in depth, but I typically avoid his videos because they are quite long. I actually didn't watch a single Ninja Nerd video last semester, literally avoiding them at all costs. But this time I was watching a different video and I did finish the video. Even though I was taking notes, 
I still had a hard time fully understanding it, so I decided to start an engineering. I decided to take a break from embryology. It took me a while to finish the previous video before Ninja Nerd, so I decided to take a break by working on a different subject. And I finished the day off by doing some meal prep, and here's my review of meal prep. Ashley, what did you make? What did you make? Wow, let's see. Whoa, you can eat now. <laughs> um, I made 